What is up YouTube thrift school over here outside the Goodwill. Let's head inside and see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. All right guys, we are looking at the DVDs and CD section. There are a couple video games, nothing super valuable. We got a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for $4 there. That's kind of cool. Uh, I like this, Hammy the Hamster. You got two episodes of a hamster show. I never heard of this. I, I might watch it. I don't know. I don't know why. It just intrigues me. Oh dear. I've really got myself into a pickle. Hmm. Pickle. That reminds me of lunch. Now this stuff is worth some money here. We got Toy Story Mania. Make a few bucks on that. Debs. This is $1 because red is half off. I'll make about $3 on that. A baby game for two bucks, selling for 20 on Amazon, so I'll make about $8 or so there. Uh, another brand new sealed DVD for $2, and I think I'll make about eight to 10 on that. And then a, an audio book, which I don't find very often. It's $4 for some reason, but still make some money there. And then another CD, a couple bucks. Not bad, not bad, but I did look through most of this stuff and I just didn't see, actually, never heard of this. What I'm doing is just going through and looking at things that I've never heard of before and looking them up. So let's scan this in together. All right, I'm using the Amazon Seller app. We'll scan it in, see the price that pops up. You can see that low price of $1.61, so it's not even worth looking into any further. It's not gonna be worth anything, so that'll go back. Everything else in here doesn't look great. Maybe this all about garbage and recycling. A lot of these children's educational DVDs are actually sometimes worth money. Let's take a look. This one is not, you would actually lose 22 cents trying to sell this, so this one can go away. Let's go take a look at the electronic. All right, we wanna go hopefully find something cool in the electronics section. This is where big profits can be found, but what is this? This guy's kinda cool. Looks like he's missing his tail though. We have a little cassette thing that's really dirty. Oh my gosh. Uh, empty. I'm not seeing, actually, this is kind of interesting right here. This looks like a plug-in fireplace. It has the remote also. This could be kind of cool. I don't, oh, look at that. Yeah, this is what would plug in maybe. I really don't know. I don't know enough about that to really want to look into it. I think we're going to leave that. A coin sorter. Oh, doesn't look good. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to come off or not. All right, guys, this is really interesting. It's a Sony. You can see a Sony, and it's a five disc changer. It's a home theater system with the remote. The remote is nice. Uh, $12. I've never seen one that looks like this. We're gonna look this up and see how much it's worth. All right, so we have it. We have it pulled up on Amazon. Now, you can see the reviews are pretty bad, only three stars. The rank is pretty high, but it is selling for over $200. Now, we're gonna double check eBay to see how the sell-through actually is over there. All right, so I typed it in and the remote seems to be selling for about 15 bucks, so that's interesting. One sold for 95, 70, ten dollars uh, for parts it's broken 150 75 so it actually seems to be selling pretty well uh, pretty often so i think i'm gonna snag it especially because it has the remote so i think we could get you know 100 to 120 dollars for this that's going in the cart all right guys i just found something super cool it's this batman puzzle take a look at this batman puzzle and i opened it up and it looks like it's completely sealed. Now, I don't know how many of these bags of, whoops, bags of pieces they're supposed to be. There's two in here, so that's good. And this thing is from 1995, it says on there. Let's see if we could focus in on that. There we go, 1995, so it is old. I kind of like it. Uh, there's no price, though. Hopefully, oh, there we go. Oh, $20, that seems crazy. Gonna put it back. All right, guys, look at this Mr. Hanky. Mr. Hanky the Christmas Poo from South Park. He's $3. Now, the back of the box does have some damage, but the front is in really good shape. It's still brand new. Take a look on eBay. There's none listed, but I found a very similar one for $35, but he doesn't have a removable hat or a sailor hat like this one. He has both. 
Uh, I can't find this exact one anywhere and it's not on Amazon either. And these are all the sold listings. So that looks similar for 50. I don't know. I mean, at $3, I'm definitely grabbing him. That's a great deal. All right, guys. Ooh, hold on. We have a ping pong table here. It's a nice one too. It's sports craft, fully folds out. $60. It seems a little expensive. If it was like $20, probably grab it and try and flip it locally, but nah, that's gonna stay behind. Ooh, here we go, guys. A Guitar Hero guitar, or Rock Band guitar, sorry. Uh, PlayStation logo. I tried not to pick these up because they need a dongle for them to connect to the system, and obviously I don't see one with it. Uh, it's $8. Now, you could tell this is a Rock Band 1 guitar because of this yellow neck. It'll have more of a brown wooden neck if it's for Rock Band 2. That one's more sought after. Also, one of these little nubs is broken off of it. Um, it's not in horrible shape. This whammy bar is a little loose. It, it's something I'm definitely going to leave behind. But for $8, you could probably still make a little bit of money on it in the condition it's in. But another thing is... These older ones have a battery compartment with a screw. So the only way to tell if it's all corroded in there is if you have a screwdriver with you, which I don't have. So we're gonna leave that. Here we go, we found another cool item here. This is a brand new sealed Nerf Rival mask for $4. Selling on Amazon for over 17. Uh, we could take a quick look at that. Here it is. You could see uh, merchants are coming in at $16.65. You'd make $9. Get an extra dollar selling at FBA. So you'll make about $10 on it. I have to pay four for it. So that's a quick and easy $6 profit. We'll throw that in the cart. I was taking a quick look through the toys and I got really excited. I saw some money sitting here. I pull it out. That doesn't look real. That's school money. That can go right back where I found it. Actually guys, that begs to ask the question, if you found $20 sitting on the shelf of a thrift store, would you take it and keep it? Or would you turn it in to the front of the store? I'm curious to know because I don't, I don't know what I would do honestly. I'd wanna keep it. Um, odds are it would have gotten donated with something. I doubt somebody would take $20 out of their pocket and leave it, but who knows? All right, guys, I think we just hit the jackpot. I found this Brother P-Touch. I sell these all the time for around $20, and it's only a dollar. We'll put that in the cart, but I noticed below, look at this, a whole basket filled of them for a dollar each. If these are still selling for $20, which I believe they are, this has got to be a couple hundred dollars worth. These are going in the cart right now. Oh man, guys, look at this. It's a shame it's not worth anything. It's a Pokemon table cover, tablecloth. And this thing is so cool. It's only $2. Take a look on Amazon. Here it is. You can see it has a great rank. That design looks so cool, but it's only selling for $7. What a shame. I'd almost want to get it just to have, but th there's no reason for me to have it, so I'm leaving it. If you are a ceramic, I think these are rooster collector. You just hit the jackpot. <laughs> these are $3 each. I don't know. Are they worth anything? Somebody let me know in the comments. I highly doubt it, but there's a lot of them here. I don't even know how I would look this up. There's like no indicating factors on it. They're cool though. These are so cool. Look at these cups right here. They're the, the Skyland Tower in Niagara Falls, Canada. I actually have been up there and I took a picture with David Hasselhoff when I was like, I think 18 or 19. Okay, I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys. I look ridiculous. I was the only one that went up to him and asked for a picture, but this brings back some memories. These are cool cups. They're only a dollar. Um, I, they look horrible to drink out of, but they are just so cool. All right, guys, I don't normally buy clothing, but I saw this cool L.L. Bean kind of uh, fleece right here, Freeport, Maine. It looks pretty vintage. Now, it has stains all over it, so I wasn't going to get it, but I flipped behind it, and I noticed this Polo Ralph Lauren. It's an XL, and it's quilted, and it's really, really, really clean. It's pretty nice. It's got the little logo down there, and it's all snap buttons. Well, I looked it up, and I couldn't find the exact one, but I did find a lot of others that are quilted that do sell. Uh, zipper one, here's a button one. That one's only $30. Uh, we got 
What do we got here? That one's similar at 72. This one's very similar, almost almost the exact same for 130. Uh, this one's very similar at 75. I don't know, guys. It's only $15. It's pretty nice. I think it's a men's. It's just, it's really nice. I don't know. What would you guys do? Do I grab it for 15 bucks? Let me know what you guys would do. It even has these cool little elbow pads in them. Okay guys, we have a bit of a dilemma here. We have these Jeep Wrangler stroller wagon and uh, it's brand new. There's a little hole in the box, but it's selling for 125. Brand freaking new. Take a look. There it is, selling for $540. You'd make 407. Now, I went and I looked at the actual listing. It does have some reviews. Yeah, uh, let's check eBay because what? All right, so I just checked eBay, and there is one sold listing for $400 about a month ago. And there are two listed at the moment for $460 and $350 plus $152 shipping. So about, uh, what is it, like $500 right there and $460. So do I spend the $125? My one issue is the size and weight of this thing is just absolutely insane. This thing has got to weigh uh, at least, I don't know, at least 50, 60, no, probably more than that. Probably like 60, 70 pounds. You can see it was originally priced at 300 at Target. Hmm, what do I do guys? What would you do in this situation? It's so big. All right guys, we just left and we ended up picking up Quite a good amount of stuff here. That sunset is looking gorgeous. Like, look at that sky. What the heck? But this is everything we picked up. I think I did pretty good. These are selling for around that $20 mark. So, holy moly, guys. Lots of cool scores here. Definitely a few hundred dollars in profit today. Pretty easy day. Pretty relaxing day. I'm super happy with what I got. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.